wanted to go over a few things with you guys. So I have a list of questions here. A lot of people in the group have been asking a lot of questions over the past few days. Um, also want to go over a couple chart ideas with you as well. Obviously, the whole Binance scenario has caused a quick downturn in the market. I mean, potentially some of these altcoins might be in a bit of a down cycle for you know, a period of two weeks to a month, month just depending. So let's take a look at Matic first. So this is Matic BTC. Matic essentially had about 100 and almost close to 100% retracement. You can see here when you pull your FIB, again, you want to pull it from the bottom to the top. And that'll find if you go here, this is your 50% retrace level, your 618 broke, your 786. Basically, you come down here and tapped the 100% retrace, and then you got a bit of a bounce. If you're trying to determine this move here, how high are we going, then you have to pull from the top down. Okay, so this will show you this is your 0.5 FIB level. And then there's this whole other paradigm that potentially Binance has created where you have to have the thought process. If, if there's 15% of the people that supposedly were using Binance were from the U.S. or 15% of the volume is coming from the United States, you have to figure in three months it's going to disappear because who's going to want to hold Matic when the only exchange basically it's listed on is Binance. So that's, a, that's kind of some of these coins you want to look at and think about, okay, well, maybe I want to trade them now, but maybe a month out, month before September, August, I want to... You know, kind of close out some of those positions because potentially we'll get some sort of a sell-off. And again, this is just speculation at this point. I want to go over, so I, again, I've talked to a lot of people. I'm, I'm trying to find out where they're having problems. I mean, let's look at what this market's done in the past week. You know, Matic is tanked. A lot of these coins, they're, they're in these down cycles. You know, potentially, does this last longer than a week? Potentially two weeks, three weeks, maybe the end of the month, in the next month. And then it flat lines and then we get another up cycle potentially we just have to see i want to keep this real basic with you guys like you can overthink ta sometimes and i want to show you the macd buy and sell signals work really well so here you can see i got stopped out on a position up here with matic and i actually sold remember when we got this crazy pump on matic I just instinctively sold the top. I didn't know it was going to turn out like this, but I did pick up some more coins down here and then basically got stopped out, lost a little bit. But here's a MACD sell signal. Now, the reason why it's a sell signal is so you got, this is your bearish cross. But just when you get this, move, it, doesn't, it doesn't even cross, but it doesn't have to. Like when you get this little tick to the inside right here, you'll get that move on the price action. Okay, so it's a lagging indicator, so you have to be a little bit assumptive on this. So that essentially, that was your signal to sell. You see, they didn't quite touch. And this happens from time to time. You'll still get the move. And then you can see how all the way through here, they're not touching. And then all of a sudden, you get your buy signal. So let's go back out. So if you want to zoom into the MACD like this, you can double click. If you just double click on it, it'll zoom in. And you really can pay attention to small details. You got your sell signal. If you would have followed this sell signal... And then, you know, obviously we get a big pullback and now we just got a buy signal here. So if you look, this is like a mini bottoming pattern, trend change, which I just posted. You got your downtrend. I just posted a graphic on these trend changes right here. So you basically have your downtrend and then your trend change is what we we're just looking at with Matic. So you've got your high, your low. This high is a lower high because it's lower than this one. This low is a lower low because it's lower than this one. This is what it makes up a downtrend, lower highs and lower lows. Then you get to a point where you'll hit a pivot point and you'll bounce. And then your next, and you can see these are all sell signals, sell, 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 sell. And then your buy signal is here. You get your bounce and you want to buy this higher low right here. This is your buy signal. Now, so if we go back, you can see on, on Matic, we missed it a tiny bit. This low was still a lower low than this low so what i did was wait you got your run up you got a little trend line and technically this would be a safe buy-in now the the macd down here you got your macd cross but it gives you a buy signal here you gotta put a top, stop in place on these the key is you want to be beneath major support right here all right so essentially you got your bounce here you've got your longest wick a lot of people would say hey you need to put it below your longest wick 
that's going to be a good chunk as far as percentage goes. You know, watching it's the safest way. However, you go back here and you see potentially it runs up, falls off, and then finds support here again. You know, so it might not be over. So you have a big event like we just had with Binance. There's a lot of uncertainty in the market right now. Like I really like good, solid, confirmed uptrends. And, you know, it, 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 is, it is a good sign that you've got your MACD moving higher. When it, when it crosses the zero line, it's a bullish sign because that means uptrend, right? So, because you look, uh, all this right here is all below the zero line. And look where the trend's at. Downtrend. Downtrend. Below the zero line. Okay, and so the, the RSI kind of works like that with the 50. So if you go in here and you mark the 50, when it's above the 50, look here. It's below the 50, all right here. Downtrend. See that? It's above the 50 here. Notice, uptrend. It's above the 50 here, uptrend. Okay? So there's a lot of things going on that you can notice. Also, now you watch this MACD until it goes up, until you get a bearish cross, a sell signal. That blue line crosses down over the red line. Hold that coin until then. Just watch that. Okay, just this is very basic, very simple. Let's not overcomplicate this. Yeah, my, sometimes my charts may be too confusing. You're new in the group. Just pick something out and learn it. Understand it. Okay, we got to talk about GRS because this is kind of a bad situation on a lot of these. And so it's important that potentially you have this strategy and you got to make an adjustment. Okay, very important. So bottoming patterns. You, you draw, you got your main thing is this trend line down here. As soon as you get a break of this trend line, this, well, for sure this this downtrend. But notice you got a you got a sell signal right here. Smack these telling you sell it. Sell it. This happened uh three days ago. Three days ago it said sell it. Didn't someone some people didn't listen to the MACD. Sometimes I wonder if this Binance situation isn't a good thing. I think it's possible that we maybe have too many coins we're looking at. There's no way we need to be watching a hundred coins. So Potentially, it's going to be like shooting fish in a barrel. We're going to have less coins to look at. You know, if, if you're a holder of certain coins and you're unable to trade them now, uh, you know, obviously that's not a good thing. But for what we're trying to do, life-changing money, it, it might be a good thing. It'll help us focus on fewer coins. Got your MACD sell signal. Bells have to go off. Now you're going to get a buy signal at some point. It's not happening yet. You go beneath. You're going down below the zero line. Bad sign okay so bearish this is signaling a downtrend all right so we're going to be in a downtrend then you got some major support so first indicator huge downtrend not a good sign macd sell signal not a good sign then you've got major trend line this major trend line just got broken this doesn't hold you're going to take another 10 percent loss here you know so when you keep put your stops in place potentially yeah you don't want to catch a wick but you you also don't want to give up 10 or 12 or 15 percent you know, and, and the next thing I want to talk about is on these midterm holds, I want you guys to buy the bottom of the triangle, of the channel, of the wedge. You know, so you're, you're antsy. You want to get in one of these midterm holds. I want to put my money in this market. I need to hurry up. And, and you're buying here. Well, if you're buying the top, you probably, you know, chances are you won't get a breakout. You have to assume you're going to stay in this channel. And then you're just automatically going to start off taking a loss. So wait wait and buy the bottom potentially if you would have got a bounce here you got had a bullish macd cross it would have bounced and you could have bought that didn't happen so again rsi is below the 50 you were going down way down now you might get an oversold bounce but you still have a ways to go okay so i'm getting a ton of good questions like i definitely want to encourage you guys to ask questions however we need to rethink some of the questions because all i do is literally end up googling these questions i want to create videos for you guys i want to teach you guys i want to focus on you know getting you guys up to speed for the bull run i want to get everybody educated on these patterns and, and post charts if you're asking me questions like chris what's wrong with coinigy the timer's not working i'm glad to help you out but the problem is there's only one of me you know you, you, in a second i could go to google and search coinigy timer not working and then put reddit at the end 
or Coinigy has an amazing help desk. Like certain things, like you guys have to use Google. Like search the announcements. There's so many, so much information that I just say, hey, it's an announcements. Hey, you need this chart? It's already posted in announcements. Like take that extra couple seconds and say it's, you know, and check out announcements, search Google, search Reddit, you know, use those sources of information. I want to get to a point where I'm answering trading questions. I have to encourage everybody to start posting charts. Like you guys I want to get up to speed. You've got to post these charts. Like so many things that I want you guys to focus on. You know, I feel like a lot of these groups are kind of real chatty, like where you're going to learn is not the herd mentality talks about stuff. Our mentality needs to be doing stuff. Like time to grind it out. It's time to dig deep. It's try, it's time to, we have a lot of new people, 150 people joined the group this month so far. Time to focus on improving. If you haven't posted a chart yet, start, start, get Coinigy, get, get trading view, start posting charts. Uh, here's some of the questions that I've had recently. Where to trade? Obviously, Binance US. Well, we will be able to use the trust wallet and that will have, will have access to Binance's decentralized exchange through the trust wallet. I use KuCoin. I use Bittrex. I use Gemini. For what I've been doing, that's working. Obviously, yeah, won't be able to buy some of the tiny little altcoins on Binance. That sucks. But we'll have to overcome. Potentially, we're going to find another exchange. Like I said, uh, KuCoin's got some less. KuCoin's got less volume, but they got a lot of coins, and I like how it's set up. And the exchange is pretty fast. So, for what it's worth, uh, the Coinigy, Coinigy Trading View, get them. I use Coinigy because it's got a lot of smaller exchanges and a bunch of coins. It's all crypto. It's buggy though. Trading View is definitely superior, but it doesn't have the coins people are asking for sometimes. I have a lot of people, they'll say, hey, should I buy, Chris, should I buy FTM? You cannot ask me a question like that. I'm not your financial advisor. Should you buy FTM? Like, you, I don't know your strategy. I don't know how are you trying to, are you trying to hold it for X amount of days, 20 days, a year, four months? I don't know your financial situation. Like, that's a, that's a question you got to sit down and, and someone that knows you is going to be able to help you out with. Like, there's so much to that. Like you have to give me way more information on your, what you're trying to do. Like you have to develop a strategy in order to, uh, you know, then you have to be able to practice your strategy and you have to be able to understand why if you make a mistake on a, on a decision, then that's a learning process. Just think in life, how many things we, mistakes that we've made that we learn from, you know, and, and, and TA and crypto is like that. But if you put a little bit of TA behind it, I'm getting a lot of people asking me, hey, Chris, can you post this chart? Sure. But I want to see what your chart is. I want to put you in a brotherly headlock and say, listen, you've got to start charting. I want to see your charts. You're going to learn at hyperspeed, but I want to see your charts. And always, if, if you ever ask me a question about any, any coin, post a chart because I can tell you what's going on without even having to chart it. So like, things posted in announcements. I post a ton of news and announcements. You guys have got to read announcements. I feel like sometimes I repeat myself. I have a lot of people hit me up in DMs. There's 900 people in the group now. If, think about if 10% if of the people hit me up in DMs. 90 DMs. 90. There's no way I could even answer that many. So a lot of people are asking the same thing. Ask me in group. Put at Crypto Bitcoin Chris in the message and I'll get answered. Start trading with small amounts. You do not want to come in this group and start throwing thousands of dollars all over this market. Okay, you've got to learn to trade with small amounts. You're going to take losses in the beginning for sure. You're going to. You're going to. But you, you have to learn from your mistakes. Eventually, this midterm hold cycle has come to a quick halt. Just have to see what these altcoins are going to do. Obviously, it depends on what Bitcoin's going to do. So, might be. I mean, we had a little short, little alt session. Bitcoin could run up and then dump. We, we again, we have to see what happens with with Bitcoin. We'll know a lot more. Like, how bad was this bombshell from Binance? This, people have hit me up and they said, "I'm losing on trades. I'm losing on this trade. I'm losing on this trade. I'm losing." On, okay, you're doing something wrong. You know, and a lot of people haven't even watched all the videos. You're guessing. Like, you have to take time, invest in yourself. 
and watch all the videos at least once. I would recommend I, I watch I can I watch the videos again just to you know make sure to stay on top of all these little minor details. There's so much to this. Yet we went through a period of time where the setups were playing off amazing. We'll get back there again. It, it always happens, but we just don't know exactly when. Potentially, we get some of these amazing bounces and we're good in two days. We just have to see. Nobody knows, nobody knows the future. Sometimes people ask me questions as if I know what's going to happen. Like I could give you the idea which way I'm leaning, but I don't know for sure. And that's why I want to get you guys to read the same, you can read the same things and see the same things I do on these charts. Someone said, I may have sold too early and I didn't catch the top. Listen, you are not going to catch the tops and the bottoms of this market. If you can do that, you'd be a billionaire living in Tahiti and retired because it doesn't happen. Even the best of the best cannot nail the tops and the bottoms. So don't beat yourself up taking profits too early. Take your profits, take your profits and move on to the next trade. Someone asked me, should I FOMO into Litecoin? No. If you have to ask if you should FOMO, no. If you, Because what that tells me is, you know you shouldn't FOMO, but you want to ask me just in case I say it's okay. No, it's not okay to FOMO ever. Litecoin, will, you get, will Litecoin get a correction? This, these questions are from a couple days ago. Yes, you always are going to get corrections. Might be small, might be big. Holding coins delisted on Bittrex. Those coins, you got to watch out for them because people in the U.S. won't have access to them. There won't be as much volume, won't be as much liquidity. This has never happened before. We have no previous data to really judge it on. Now, when coins are delisted from Binance or Bittrex in the past, again, slightly different reasons for being poor projects or whatever it is, but those coins have tanked. So we just, again, have to kind of real pay real close attention like those are the types of, types of comments I want to see what everybody's talking about in chat. Like, hey, this is what I studied and I found out. I feel like there's way too much chat in the trading channels. Chat, I got two chat groups for that. I want you guys to talk all you want, but go to the chat groups so that people that are trying to trade don't have to sift through all the text messages. Please, we got to work together on this. Always put at crypto Bitcoin Chris in messages directed at me so I get alerted. If you just type Chris, I'm never, I probably won't see it because there's hundreds of messages every day. Where is the VIP spreadsheet? So at the VIPs, Trading Talk Only, you go to pin message and you click this and it will take you to the link. Or you go here and you type in VIP spreadsheet and then it will take you right to the spreadsheet. All right, just real quick, just to kind of go over some of these midterm holes just so you guys can see it. You see midterm hold, midterm hold, midterm hold. I'm going to have to make new charts on these because they're all off now. But just to show you this so you understand. OAX, you get your bottom. The best place for entry is the bottom of this triangle. Okay, so don't get, I got to get in, I got to get in this move, I got to get in this move. You could buy the breakout, but go through these midterm holds and figure out which ones are at the bottom of the pattern. Okay, CND, you get your bottom. You get your pivot, change in trend, You get because you get your higher, this low is higher than this low. So you got a higher low. That's your buy signal. You want to buy right there. You start buying up here in the middle of the triangle, all of a sudden you can lose 5 or 10% when it goes back down to the bottom of the triangle. Okay. And then put your stop beneath the triangle. Find some major support and put it beneath it. Somebody was yelling at me the other day like, Chris, what do I do? What do I do? It's tanking. I, I did one of the setups. No, you're doing it all wrong. If you come into this group brand new and you buy it and you have no idea how to set a stop loss and you don't use it, you're going to get wrecked. You've got, there's some basic videos that I ask you guys to watch, five of them, before you start getting it. I would want, I'd really like you guys to watch all the videos before you start trading with large amounts. I want to just make this video for you guys, just to encourage everybody to continue to work together. You now we get a lot of new people in the group and they don't understand about the chat and the trading channels. Politely ask people to move the chat to the correct group, okay? Thank you guys so much. I'll talk to you soon.